Hello and welcome to the Mindset and Manifesting Podcast. My name is Lena. I'm a spiritual teacher and I am a, a life and conscious manifesting coach. And today I want to talk about coincidences or are they manifestations? Well, I will tell you right now, there are no coincidences in this life. Despite appearances, there are zero coincidences. Everything that we experience is a manifestation, whether it was conscious or unconscious, whether we intended for the manifestation or it was done unknowingly. And I can tell you before you we become aware that we are conscious that we are creators, that we are creating our reality, our experiences through our feelings and our thoughts and uh, our words and our beliefs and our assumptions. We've Create a, created for many of us a lot of unwanted things. Unconscious manifestation. So, coincidence or manifestation, it's all manifestation. And um, I'm going to give a couple of examples today of some unfolding manifestations. Which... For those, for any individual not aware of manifestation or the fact that we are all uh, conscious creators, right? They would, these manifestations would have seemed like coincidences. And I will say part of the reason why, the, well, let me backtrack. The past couple of weeks, for me personally, um, there has been some... It's been really different, really different for me. There's um, been an acceleration of things in my life. Some uh, unexpected things have come up, right, Um, that I've had to take care of, house repairs and things like that. Some unexpected, um, there some anxieties, um, not like I used to experience, but just some little bit of like, um, I, I said anxiety, but it's a different, it's, um, an accelerated, um, like energy. I could feel this energy within me, um, which I could correlate it with anxiety, right? Because it was just, um, this energy that I really had to, um, Kind of, I had to observe and kind of ground myself. So, anyway, um, but yeah, yeah, I'll correlate with anxiety because five, six years ago, that's what I would have thought it was, right? But now I know it's just energy, and things have been occurring because um, about two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah, about two weeks ago. I intended to move into a higher timeline. A higher vibrational frequency. A higher timeline. And I made that intention. Um, I actually fell asleep in that intention. So I made the intention right before falling asleep one night. And... I am like I woke up the next day and I could literally feel the energetic shift. It was it was strange, strange feeling because I'd never really experienced I'd never really experienced anything like that before, right? Um setting an intention and then almost immediately like I could feel the energetic shift. So, the past couple weeks, I've had a lot of things coming up because, again, it's like an acceleration of things happening. Um, Still some stuff coming up that 
um, I have to observe and look at it and think, okay, uh, this is an anxiety. You know, um, it feels a little bit like it, but it's not anxiety. So, um, and then what else? There was a couple other things. Um, well, today it was with traffic and some other stuff, things coming up, repairs with the house and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I had been manifesting, uh, my idea was to sell my house in a couple of years. Uh, I've been here for two years and let's see, night two. Three years. So I knew when I moved in that I was planning on not selling it after five years. And I've done a lot of repairs and stuff to my house. A lot of upgrades. Um, looks so much nicer than when I moved in. And um, there were still some things I wanted to do. Put in new flooring, new windows, etc. Well, all of a sudden, this past two weeks... Oh my goodness, there have been so many things have come up with my house that have now accelerated that that process. I had a couple of repairs which led to some other um, having some folks come in and look at things and, and I ended up getting estimates on the um, touching up painting and floors and windows, etc. It's been a crazy acceleration of events. And not only with the house repairs, but um, other things um, coming up with uh, specific people, uh, finances, etc. So it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. So I'm having to really kind of manage those energies. So um, I was actually going to create a separate podcast episode on intentions and higher uh, higher timelines, like intending for that. So I think I'm still going to do that. So I'll stop talking about that right now. I'm going to create the next episode. I'll talk about setting those intentions and being prepared for uh, what you may experience when you set those intentions. Um, but I want to talk about manifestations today, right? And the fact that there are no coincidences. <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago, <coughs> excuse me, um, a friend of mine was helping another friend. Um, they were moving, they were doing some demo uh, in a home because of flood damage. So, um, a couple of days after that, I happened to move the dresser in my room, the corner of my room, to clean behind it. I was going to vacuum, and I saw some mold in the corner. And um, I thought, okay, I'll have to get this taken care of. Well, that's been taken care of, but the pipe inside the wall... Um, had to re be replaced because it was a leak, etc. So I thought it was just be the mold was from when I accidentally left the faucet on outside on that wall, that exterior wall, like when I first moved in a couple years ago. Well, it turns out there was a pipe on the inside that was leaking. But so we go from my friend from a basement happened to be demoed, right? Because of flood damage. So now just randomly, that dresser has been in the corner of my room for like eight months. Um, I just randomly moved it. I decided I never vacuumed behind there. Um, I just decided I was going to clean behind it. And I happened to notice the mold. And then I had um, somebody come in and they had to remove all the drywall. It took like three days and repair the pipe and stuff, right, because of water damage so we go from water damage in a basement you know my friend had to they're taking care of that so now here i'm experiencing this water damage and not only that but uh a day or two after i think it was yeah it was a day or two after i noticed that um my friend there was another location um his business where he experienced 
uh, water like flooding in because um, it was raining heavily. So do you see the correlation there, right? Manifestation. So if you focus on something, right, something's happening, and uh, you give your focus to it, right? You, there's another manifestation with the water damage of the mold at my house. And then more water damage, or not damage, but there was, uh, they had to, it had to dry it all out and stuff like that. But anyway, those aren't coincidences. Those are absolutely not coincidences. They're manifestations. So we have to be really care careful of how we, um, when a situation arises, how much thought we give to it, and um, what those thoughts, thoughts are around that, you know, the situation, right? Because uh, if we keep our focus on it, or if we have certain assumptions about that about that experience, um, it creates a it can create a pattern, uh, another manifestation, right? Uh, another thing, <laughs> another manifestation. And again, pe most people with these think these things are coincidences. There are no coincidences. So I think there were two things at play here with this. The first is. Setting that attention, intention, right, to uh, move into a higher timeline. And then now things being accelerated as far as the house goes, getting repairs and doing upgrades and things like that in preparation for selling. Because my intention is for two years from now, but for whatever reason, well, I know the reason because I set an intention, things are accelerating now. So... How is this manifestation of my house selling my house unfolding? There's another intention that goes along with that. Selling the house is um, my intention of where I want to move to. So it may come prior to two years from now. I don't know. There are a couple of things that I know are unfolding here that play off of each other, right? So these bridges of incidences are um seem to be happening happening quite rapidly now all right now this other manifestation um is not set around any type of intention but uh last week i you know how on instagram there are uh these shorts and reels and stuff like that i have yet to do a short or a reel um i may may not i don't know if i can figure it uh, well make the time to do it i may i may do shorts or reels but um i was scrolling down my business page and i came across a reel about beehives and it, it, it piqued my interest, right? The the beehives. And I think it piqued my interest because of the, the shape of the beehive because I've been really drawn to sacred geometry lately. So I think it was the shape of the beehive. And then I don't know the social nature of the bees or, or what have you. Um, most of them uh, were centered around the queen, but some of them were on... Uh, moving, locating and moving hives and stuff like that. But anyway, I got, like, I m directed my focus to this, these reels. I watched, I watched several of them. And then I think actually over the course of like two or three days, because here's the thing, when we focus on something, that's what we experience more of. So I was focused, you could Say it's an algorithm, but it's not really the algorithm. It is our focus. Um, so I was, and then our focus, well, yeah, they play hand in hand, but all manifestations, no coincidences. So anyway, so of course, because I watched a couple of these reels, they kept showing up as suggested. <laughs> so for two or three days, I kept seeing these reels. 
and I'd spend a few minutes just watching these bees and the beehives because it was kind of cool. Now I'm over it. I, <laughs> I'm over it. Uh, it's like with TV. I don't har hardly ever watch TV. Uh, if I do, and I've talked about this before, if I do, I'll like binge watch something. Um, and sometimes I'll watch a show and I'll literally like fast forward through most of it. Um, just to get through the series quicker. And I just catch up like by watching bits and pieces of it. Um, but I don't do that very, I don't do that very often. I don't watch TV every day and, uh, et cetera. But so these bees, right? These beehives, I got caught up for two or three days watching these reels. Um, and, uh, this past week, uh, I had some people putting up a new fence in my, repairing my fence, my backyard. And I noticed wasps flying around. And I have a stand-up cabinet um, in my back patio. I So I've put, I have pavers like in most of my yard. A couple years ago, I did a lot of work where I picked out all these pavers. I painted everything black. Um, that's the color scheme in my backyard is uh, black, red, uh, and white, right? Red and white flowers, and the pavers are all uh, black, and the and the uh, flower the the borders around my flower beds and um, garden and bed and stuff are black. So anyway, I have this talk. I have this cabinet out there where I put. Um, you know, just garden supplies in. And I saw these wasps flying around it. And I uh, I peeked. There's a little gap between the between this cabinet and the fence. And I peeked behind. And I saw a wasp nest. With probably like 15 bees around it. Um, you know, so I... It was the middle of the day. I didn't know that um, you shouldn't uh, try to get rid of wasps or bees or anything. Or wasps. I don't know about bees. Uh, until nighttime because they're less active. I had no idea. So I opened the door of this cabinet. And one flew out and it stung me on the finger. Um, I didn't know if I was allergic, so I immediately put ice on it and then went and took <laughs> went and took a Benadryl. That hurt, man. A wasp a bite or a wasp sting hurts. Um, but it would. I had put ice on it, took the Benadryl, went down, and then um, I ended up getting rid of the nest myself. I battled with them for like half an hour. I should have waited till at night, but. Most people would just think, oh, it's a wasp nest. You know, it just randomly, it, it's here. It's just random. It, things like this happen. Again, there are no coincidences. There is no coincidence that I spent a couple of days getting stuck watching. Well, first time I was stuck. And then I was just, that was my own fault for continuing to, uh, you know, watch these reels about these bees and these beehives. So there's no coincidence there, right? I was focused on these beehives because of their shape and stuff and these bees. And then I end up with a wasp nest in my backyard, right? And the wasp nests are simpler, sim or similar to the, uh, like the, the honeycombs, not the beehive, but like the honeycomb. Um, no coincidence. Again, many people would think it's just a coincidence. Random hive in my backyard. And would not put two and two together. So that's why I talk so much about cultivating your awareness and observing. Observing because if you know where your attention goes... Uh, where your thoughts go, you become more aware of uh, the 
conscious and unconscious manifestations, even the unwanted manifestations, right? If you cultivate that awareness, you can become aware of even the un, um, the unconscious, the unwanted manifestations, right? You can you you eventually learn to um, connect the dots, put the pieces of the puzzle together, right? Um, understand the correlation between um, where your focus goes and what you're experiencing. So again, coincidence or manifestation? All manifestation. All the time, there are no coincidences. Everything in this world, everything within our awareness is a manifestation. Okay, whether we realize it or not, because here's the thing. An unconscious manifestation without intent, right? A uh, random thought you may have had years ago before or uh, conversations, right? Things you say aloud or your internal conversations, that you have and where your focus goes and where your um, your feeling state, right? Um, all of that creates. Now, how it comes about is not it's not really up to us. It's up to um, it's up to God. It's up to the Elohim and in um, you know uh, higher dimensions, really, right? The universe, the universe. Um, as to how those things come about, because there are, there are a lot of things that there are a lot of things at play, right? So we really don't have um, the control over how the ma manifestations come about. So they're going to come about in the um, I would say probably the uh, the the easiest way, right? Um, for them to come about, depending on kind of what's at play. So there are no coincidences. Everything that you see is a manifestation. If you can learn to observe, really cultivate that awareness, really um, observe where your focus goes, even when my focus is not where it should be, okay, um, I'm aware of it. I'm aware even when my focus is not where I want it to be. If it is on something unnecessary. Watching beehives is not something necessary for creating my future. Right? Watching beehives is not necessary. But I was just got stuck in that pattern for a few days. Um, you know, watching them for a few minutes here, a few minutes there. Um, I probably for a good 15 minutes for those three days was watching those, those bees, the beehives or the honeycombs. Um, but I was aware of where my focus was. Now, did I know that I was, it, it was going to manifest a, a nest in my backyard? No. Am I surprised? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Um, was I surprised when I found the mold? At first I was, and then I was like, oh, wait. I, I know why this is happening. I created it. So, whatever. Let me just deal with it. And <clears throat> I know there's a there are bigger picture things of things unfolding here. Part of it was the focus with the, you know, the the other stuff with the water damage and stuff elsewhere. And, um, but it didn't stress me out. I mean, it's been a lot to deal with the past couple weeks. Um, and not only that, but that actually led to, I've, um, me needing to replace some pipes, um, which entails moving the water heater and, and things like that. So that one thing in my bedroom led to, uh, something else in my laundry room that now has to be repaired. But again, I'm aware of the fact that these are, um, 
there's a bridge of incidents unfolding here that correlates with, um, I believe, two different manifestations that correlate with each other, okay? Um, these desires that I've had, for one of them for, oh my goodness, what, uh, this is 2015, involving um, an SP, specific person. So, I, so again, I'm aware um, of... Even when my focus, even when my focus is not on the desire that I want, when it's when I get sidetracked, because I do. Um, but again, I've set this intention to rise um, to a higher timeline, and again, I'm going to talk about that in the next episode. So, you can set your intentions for absolutely anything you want to experience. Okay, but when you're not when you don't have those intentions and you're just randomly focused, if when you're focused on random things that um, are not a key to creating your the future that you want to experience, then yeah, you're going to manifest seemingly random things that, that, you may not want to experience, but it's all part of the process. It's all part of the process. So, again, um, that's why I talk about cultivating your awareness. is because it can be so profound. It can be so helpful in, in noticing manifestations all all of your manifestations all of them conscious or unconscious and then when you and then when you see them you're like oh okay i should not have put my focus here because now this is the result so i need to be more um, aware of what i'm focused on and if i find myself focused on something that I don't want to experience, I need to shift that, okay? So, the more you aware you are, the more you cultivate more awareness. And then you really can master your thoughts, master your focus, master your life, and create the things that you want to experience. Create the life that you want to live. Um, also, another thing. When you have created unwanted things, don't beat yourself up about it, okay? There is no reason to place judgment on yourself or beat yourself up about it um, or, or give it really any more attention. See it for what it is. Laugh it off if you want to laugh it off. You know, it's done. It doesn't need my focus. And then and then move on. Because um, you really don't want to keep focusing. <laughs> if it was an unwanted manifestation, you really don't want to keep focusing on it. Um, and I wouldn't have even talked about it today if I didn't think um, that... It may help somebody understand um, awareness and manifestation and the fact that there are no coincidences at all. Um, I, and I've said this a lot before, too. I was talking to somebody today when I went to the storage unit, which is interesting. I'm really manifesting more conversations with people about manifesting, about awakening, about... Uh, a mindset. It's just, it's happening more now. I'm having more conversations. The guy that came uh, three weeks ago to give me an estimate on Windows had a conversation with him about it. Um, so I'm drawing, there's more of those people in my life now that I'm resonating with. Um, 
on that level, which is really interesting. Um, and I love it. I love it. Because I don't go out much. The energy, yeah, there, it's a lot to be out. Even just like out driving today. And then um, yeah, I was dealing with some other stuff. That energy, um, I'm getting to the point now where I'm learning to kind of clear that energy. Um, because it could be a lot for me. Um, I was out running around back and forth today um, taking care of stuff. A lot of the time I got home, like after, with the traffic and stuff, I got home and um, and then I was having uh, a conversation with a business and I was just like, whew, okay, that was a lot. And my whole day, the rest of the stuff that I have planned to do around the house, I was like, nope, I'm done. I'm just going to sit and I'm going to write and I'm going to create uh, a couple podcast episodes um, and divert my energy into what I really love doing today instead of working around the house, which again, that was my original plan because now I've got to paint the fence. Uh, the new fence set is up because like I said, outside my whole um, color scheme is uh, the pavers are black and my fence was black. Well, now it's a new fence, so I have to repaint it black. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was gonna, um, I was gonna do that, but then with the energy, I was just like, have to go home and and sit down. Um, although the conversation I had with the lady at the storage unit, uh, the young girl, she, it was really nice. Um, so and then hopefully I'll be able to uh, help her or her mom just kind of work through some of the some of the things that you know that they're going through and. Um, mindset wise and and you know and things like that so because i i love being able to help i love being able to share so anyway there are no coincidences right everything is a manifestation so uh careful what you're focused on and um if you start to see the correlation with things where your focus was and now what you're experiencing um it's going to, it can really kind of help to boost your confidence when it comes to manifesting because you realize, yes, I really am creating the life that I'm experiencing, whether it's unwanted or wanted. I really am creating this because I can see it. Now, let me be intentional. Let me be focused. Okay, what do I want? What do I want? And then you shift your focus, right? And the more you do it, the more ma more conscious manifestations you experience, right? The things you intend for, the, mo the, the more you intend for, the more of those things that you experience. Okay. So that is it for this episode. Again, in the next episode, I'm going to talk more about that intention um, it, of moving into higher timelines because if you do that, you're going to have to be prepared for it um, because things begin to happen pretty rapidly. So I'll talk about that in the next episode. And some of that, obviously, is going to be repeated from my, what I've already mentioned here because... Um, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to mention it, but I, I ended up doing it anyway because it kind of correlates with what's been happening. So um, we'll see if I can get a full 30 minutes out of the next episode talking about that. I think I can. Um, you guys have a great day or evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I've got a couple links in the description box. Uh, you can check those out if you want to understand um, manifesting more or setting intentions, things like that, or shifting your focus. Because if you're not m manifesting things you've been intending for, chances are your focus is not where it should be. So, um, check out, I don't think I have the link for the disc, the coaching, the free 30 minute discovery call in the description, but you can click on the link for my blog and um, there's a spiritual coaching tab at the top um, for the page to go to to book a um, a free dis uh, a free 
30-minute discovery call. All right, so that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now. Thank you.